welcome everybody to the wild, wild west A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness The track hits your eardrum like a slug to your chest Like a vest for your Jimmy in the city of sex We in that sunshine state for the bomb ass envy The state where you never find a dance floor empty And pimp speed on a mission for them greens Lean mean money making machines serving fiends I've been in the game for 10 years making rap tunes Ever since honeys was wearing sassoon Now it's 95 and they clock me and watch me die Everybody, I'm Fresh McFresh. My name's Onion the Great. And welcome to Hemp Beach TV episode, episode 44. We got your weekly dose of 420 entertainment, news, games, movies, and reviews, as always. Uh, yeah, check out our merchandise at our new Hemp Beach TV swag mark. That's on right. Hemp Beach, uh, yeah, HempBeachTV.com. <laughs> Why do I always do that? Fuck. All right. It's HempBeach.TV. Yeah. And Hemp if you Beach. start off saying, like, how it asks, you guys say, www. W screw me up. It's like saying George W. Bush's name. It's like right, let's, start that. That let's start the All check right. out our merchandise over here. Three, right. two, one, and check out our merchandise at our new Hemp Beach <laughs> TV swag mart on www.hempbeach.tv. We have shirts and apparel for everyone. That means you buy a shirt, send us your pictures, maybe wear it, and do that while talking. Hell yeah! And don't forget to time. register on our site, Hemp Beach TV. Uh, we've revamped the site, and there's going to be a special video and other content for all registered users. Yeah, you guys can think of it as a new cannabis MySpace, but for our fans, viewers, friends, homies of Hemp Beach TV, uh, we'll have all your special concert footage and pictures and all the behind-the-scenes action from HBTV. So oh. check that out. Check that out. All right, Stony fans. Woo! Time to pack those bongs, roll your joints and blunts. Let's get blazed. Time for Hemp Oh, shit, let me see you later. Oh, that really called for? Come on. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, mysteriously squirting. All right, guys, we're lighting it up. And as you know, this is the time where you should be lighting up as well. So what do you got smoking out? <coughs> smoking out that dankness. <laughs> dankness. Super delicious. Hell yeah, we need to get one of them trippy, percolating, like PHX crazy balls. To smoke our massive amounts of heady nuggets out of. Heady nuggets. Studio audience, skunk, you guys want to get a little. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, fucking people. You guys stink of cannabis. <laughs> I know. Oh, no, anonymity. Alright. The couch, I swear to God, we're going to get sued. We're going to get sued. <laughs> oh no. Alright. So, uh, what do we gotta talk about today? Right. Do you Mr. stink for cannabis? Man. I do. I, I do. do. I just smoked. It's so just now it's my new cologne. Can't buy for men. Can't buy for men. But <laughs> if you're doing something that you don't need to smell like cannabis for, like necessarily going to school, uh, the police entrance exams, going to work, <laughs> the police entrance <laughs> exam, uh, your ass vab. Yeah. yeah. Here's what you need to do. Take a little <coughs> mouthwash. I prefer the yellow Listerine. That shit's like <coughs> pure grain alcohol. It's fucking intense. And it works. So go for it. Yellow Listerine. I don't know. I've never had a cop smell someone's breath for weed. It well, they to. say, hey, I smell it. And that fucks with you. And what do you ah, do with that? Fuck. You don't have to hit because I said that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, okay? <coughs> Alright. Now, uh, drink something. Yeah, like water. You don't have mouthwash. Water, juice, like drink something to wash Mr. the Pim. resin. Yeah. Diet Mr. Coke. A Mr. Barks, which is made from uh, equal parts Mr. Pib and Barger beer, would do wonders, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, you're just trying to wash all that blunt resin out of your fucking face. Yeah, definitely. Alright, another one, it would be body spray, like a little axe can you got Some tag. Yeah, um, those things are cool for flamethrowers, too. Some cologne, can of for men. Wait, no, no. <laughs> defeats the purpose. Yeah. Conflict of interest, never mind. Alright, fucking hand sanitizer. Scrub it up. Scrub it up. Clean your hands up. Get all them resin off your yeah. hands. Your hands are going to stink. And honestly, even if you like high-five your homeboy, like, oh, no. Oh. Now his hand also smells like cannabis. Because it's just sticky and it contacts with people. It does. It's like, it's a funk. It collects on you. Yeah. And last but not least. Ah, oh, everybody likes this. A little bit of fresh air. Ah. Get out there. <laughs> take a little walk. 
Yeah, like do something. Go go for a jog, like flop your clothes out. Yeah, jump on a trampoline. Get all that, just flop it good. Like pop it, 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 pop I don't know if there is one. I don't think so. Okay, so the Global Marijuana March is almost here. How long have we got left for that? Oh, uh, we got like two days. It's May 2nd, so... So yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, hurry up, check it out uh, with your town, fucking yeah. go online. Yeah, basically what's going on is there's 263 cities worldwide who have uh, signed up for the Global Marijuana March. And yeah, basically it's a rally... Um, in Gainesville, Florida, they're actually going to do it in front, oh no, in Tampa, they're actually having the rally this year in front of the Tampa DEA's office, yeah, which I think is hilarious. awesome. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And it's, right in their face. it's worldwide. It's just like uh, the music festival at Earth Dance. It's like 263 cities globally making a stand for cannabis liberation, and we're trying to represent a united front. Like, we have numbers, we're here, we're together. Fuck your fucking oppressive laws. Yeah. Smoke weed every day. All day. All day, every Someone day. Someone slap freshman. What the? Ah. Ah. No, I've kind of given up. It's a lost cause. Viewers, fans, I personally will say cannabis, ganja, you know, I, herb. The occasional weed. Yeah, you know, yeah. maybe I might let it slip, but for the most part, I'm trying to be conscientious. I think the freshman, me hombre over here, is always just gonna say we. Yeah, it, it kind of happens, and it's part of the culture, and uh, I know. It's a part of the culture. I, I would like to. The, uh, <laughs> well, I understand the whole uh, marijuana being a. Uh, marijuana is a horrible word for it yeah. too, honestly. But I like how it, it kind of makes the name Mary Jane. Yeah. That's cool, because when chicks are named Mary Jane, it's uh, definitely hotter. But I mean, yeah, it is. But I mean, honestly, the whole reason, I've said this before, the whole reason that they even call cannabis marijuana is because of in the Depression in the 40s, the government originally illegalized, and I'm actually uh, preemptively answering a comment here too, but the government originally legalized, or illegalized uh, cannabis uh, be, just because of the fact that the depression was going on, there's a whole bunch of Mexican immigrants here take like using jobs that the government figured that white men or politicians figured that white men could use. So they slap a uh, name that sounds Hispanic on cannabis, which they call marijuana, and uh, they go and start busting a bunch of Mexicans and Hispanic people and using it as an excuse to deport them. So, I mean, basically, that's how it went down. And there's other reasons um, as well, but that was a big part of it. And I think that's really fucked up. That is pretty fucked so up. So I personally think that marijuana is the most hideous thing that you can call such an awesome, awesome plant. True. Yeah. Well, right on. Uh, let's check this out. <laughs> Fucking <Right> on. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you get. Look, the draft stock of Percy Harvey of the Florida Gators has taken a big hit recently. A big hit? A big hit. A big one. I've yeah. seen that shit. Fucking. And? And he was drafted first round to the Vikings. Woo! So, the Vikings, Vikings fans out there. Yeah. That he, sucks for everybody else. Moved up from college. Well, I know. That's good. But you could have gone to a better team than the Vikings. Well, you get well, hey, he has no choice in that, really. Yeah, well, I know, because of the fact that he had so much THC in his piss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thanks for taking him, Vikings. Actually, actually, I love the Vikings. Really? Thanks. Why is that? Well, Why because you? because they took Percy Harvin after he was busted with THC in his urine. Yeah, they still... Does that mean that the Vikings with... are pro-cannabis? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! That'd be cool. That'd be a clincher. If anybody knows, uh, head coach of the bike, peace out from here. Come on, Come on. 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 Come on.